Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Stop me if you've heard this one. It seemed like a good idea at the time. It's for the greater good. And the most pertinent for tonight's Outre outing, it's for science. Can all be used to justify putting people in some of the worst predicaments ever. For this evening, The First Man in Cryostasis by Stealth Nymph. Ten more minutes. After spending 50 years chained up in this machine from hell, I'll finally be free. I'll finally feel alive again after all these years. Ironic, since I'll die a few minutes after it turns off. I was the first man to ever be put into cryostasis. The idea was a short, three-month-long stasis to examine the effects on the human body. I panicked when I realized that I could still see and hear everything during the stasis, except I had no way to let anyone know. After two weeks, I got used to it, though. I had enough to look at, regardless, scientists busy running from left to right, right to left, uh, noting what they assumed to be important. It's only three months, and then you'll be the most famous man alive. Not only the first to be put into cryostasis, but also the failed anesthetics. Imagine the lawsuit. <laughs> you'll be a world star. My cheerful attitude quickly diminished when the scientists stopped coming. Well, most of them did. One man, from whose name tag I learned was called Dr. Morelli, came back one more time. He put his hand on the glass in front of me as I could see it dampen the area around it slightly. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know if you can hear me in there, but... I don't have the authorization codes to get you out. The others, they're gone. He sighed deeply. The generator should give out in about... Another gulp followed. 50 years? Why am I even telling you this? You're cozy to sleep in there while we're getting slaughtered out here like goddamn animals. I wasn't cozy. I've watched an empty room for a little less than 50 years now. I've watched Dr. Morelli shoot himself, and then I watched his corpse slowly decompose. It was my only form of entertainment for a while there, until the decomposition process stopped about two years in. But now it's almost time. Here it comes again. The loud, droning computer voice that'll free me soon. Warning. One minute left until generator fuel supply is empty. Authorized personnel, please refill the generator fuel supply. I hope they don't, I catch myself thinking. Oh, who am I kidding? Everyone who cares is long dead by now. I can't, it's happening. The lights are dimming. I can see the life support systems outside the pod deactivate. Oh, the morphine injectors are off now too. I feel again. Half a century of being frozen hurts like hell, but it'll be over soon. My breath is becoming slower. I can't move a muscle, but if I could, a smile would appear on my face right now. Goodbye, fucking ice hell. Error, generator malfunction. Backup generator online. Power restored. Systems online, cryo life support. Systems damaged, cryo morphine injection. Backup generator estimated uptime, 84 years, 3 months, 1 week, and 4 days. Resuming cryolytic stasis experiment. Well, ain't that just a kick in the ice cubes? Remember, kids, you don't need to plan for every contingency. But don't be so naive as to think everything will go exactly as planned. Stay scary, my wildlings. Don't volunteer for anything. And make the most of your nights.